So I'm on the shores now of historic Lake Bonneville, which was actually in its day one of the biggest lakes in North America. Actually, one of the biggest lakes ever in North America. So it formed about 30,000 years ago, or a little more than 30,000 years ago, during the last ice age, and it dried up about 16,000 years ago. And when it left, it left this amazing deposit of salt. So I'm standing on the Bonneville Salt Flats, is what they're called now. And if you look around, it just extends for miles and miles. So I can get some sense of scale. These salt flats are huge. I mean, no joke, they extend for thousands, for not, not for thousands of miles, but for probably about a hundred miles in each direction right now. So we'll bring some salt home. So you can see how solid this stuff is. Got my nice rock hammer. So a lot of this salt now is actually being harvested. People use it for stuff and they're actually taking it, so they're depleting the salt. So here's our salt. The way this salt actually forms is one of the ways that our main, one of our main ways of mineral formation is actually precipitation. So these minerals were actually dissolved in the water. This salt was actually dissolved in the water. And when it dried up and it evaporated, it left behind this really thick salt crust. So, man, it is very hard even my rock hammer. Oh wow, some good pieces. So I'm gonna bring some of this home for class so you guys can actually get your hands on a piece of salt from the great historic Bonneville salt flats. So again, we form this salt by precipitation. So the salt was dissolved in the water and it precipitated out. Hope you enjoyed it class.